I'm Sarah Seeger, Professor of Planetary Science and Professor of Physics at MIT. I've always loved astronomy, and when I studied math and physics and realized you could do astronomy for a job, I was pretty much hooked. I work on many different research problems, but my favorite problem that I'm most focused on right now is how to find and identify another planet that is like Earth. And by like Earth, I mean a planet that is small and rocky, that has a thin atmosphere, and the right temperatures at its surface so that life may exist. Ideally, we'll be able to look at the planet's atmosphere and look for signs of life via what we call biosignature gases, gases that are produced by life that accumulate in the atmosphere. Hand in hand with the research on how to find and identify another Earth is the engineering technological development on how actually to do this. So my favorite project right now is a mission concept study that I'm chairing that involves about 10 people from industry and that involves about 10 people from academia and NASA centers as well as the design team out at JPL and we're trying to understand the details of how we can build and launch a space telescope accompanied by a special occulting screen we call a starshade to be able to find an earth next to a sun-like star being at MIT in EAPS is extremely helpful because people who study Earth in a lot of detail are here. That's people who understand Earth's interior and Earth's atmosphere. And all that information is very useful as we try to understand how we're going to study and characterize another Earth. Being at MIT is incredibly useful because of the physics department and the engineering department, both of which I work with. And especially um, working together with the engineers has been incredibly fruitful. For my research, the tools are quite varied, but we heavily rely on computers for writing detailed computer codes using applied physics to predict what exoplanets will look like. We also use computers to interpret data taken by space telescopes. The favorite part of my job is doing research and thinking in the zone where the whole world goes away and it's just me and my scientific problem. And actually solving that problem and getting an answer is one of the most satisfying experiences. In a student I look for two things. One is in the category of, does the person have the right skills? Do they know how to do math? Can they write a computer program? Can they think logically? But more important than that is the ability to think outside the box and a boldness of spirit so that the person is willing to take on challenging and risky problems. I'm most excited about how fast we're maturing the technology to actually find a true Earth twin.